The financial woes of Chinese property developer Country Garden have raised concerns about China's housing sector and its economy as a whole. But anxiety about Country Garden's troubles stretch beyond China's borders. In Malaysia, there are worries that the developer will abandon a major unfinished building project. DW's Georg Matis reports. Is this a green futuristic metropolis or a ghost town literally built on sand? Forest City is located in Johor, a state in southern Malaysia, but so far, it's a city without people. The huge $100 billion residential project was built entirely on an artificial island, just a stone's throw away from the expensive real estate market of neighboring Singapore. It aims to house 700,000 people by 2035. There's a three cluster in here, totally a four cluster. Huh. Okay, three cluster in here, and there are main cluster in the other side. Okay. This Malaysian pensioner, who wants to be referred to as Mr. Lim, is one of its few residents. He bought two units from Chinese investors. After the public learned that the private Chinese developer behind Forest City, Country Garden, had run into financial difficulties, many first-time buyers wanted to sell. So far, the majority of the 28,000 apartments that have been completed in Forest City have been sold, but hardly any of the owners have moved in. Mr. Lim is confident that this will change with the expansion of the city. It's a 60% owned by the, uh, the country garden, 40% actually, I mean, that the owned by the Johor, I mean, that the local government, right, including the Sultan. It's not totally owned by country garden. So, in that sense, I mean, that they feel that this one is still quite high potential. So, that's why they still keep well maintained. But the key was well maintained. Wherever you go in Forest City, you will come across dozens of gardeners. But most apartments are empty and seem to be nothing more than an investment for buyers. To lure more residents to the island, an entire area has been declared a duty-free zone. But experts say this is not enough. Forest City needs to attract people who want to live there. When there's no people moving, there's no demand for facility, amenity, no commercial unit or no shopping mall, no retail will move into this city, then this city is incomplete without people. A look at night reveals the problem. To stimulate more economic activity, the Malaysian government announced a plan to create a special financial zone in Forest City. This tower is reserved exclusively for companies, generating jobs that the local population can theoretically profit from. Well, of course it's good for Malaysia, because it attracts investment from other countries like Singapore, China and other Asian countries. It would be a shame if the place has to close down. I come here with the children and it's nice to play here. The real threat to the inhabitants of Forest City is not in the sea. Country Garden is currently among the world's most indebted developers. So far, only 15% of their dream has been realized. Much more investment is needed to keep it alive.